Hi and welcome back to the Vita vs 3DS YouTube channel. In this episode, we have our second showdown, which pits Sony's top-tier, family-friendly 2D platformer, Little Big Planet PS Vita, against Nintendo's top-tier, family-friendly 2D platformer, New Super Mario Bros. 2. In this comparison, the graphics, the sound, and the gameplay will be compared, and then a winner will be chosen, which reflects my overall opinion of which game is the better game. When Nintendo first started showing screenshots of New Super Mario Bros. 2, many people online complained, claiming that it wasn't a substantial upgrade over the first in terms of visuals. Now that the game has been out and I've played it to completion, I would like to say to those people that they really need to go back and actually play the first game. This game is a substantial upgrade in terms of visuals. The animations are great and really slick, running at a smooth 60 frames per second throughout the entire game without so much of a hiccup. The art style is very colorful and really pops in 3D. It adds some neat effects which the original didn't have, like ash sweeping through the air in some of the later levels. The game itself doesn't really push the hardware, but 2D platformers usually don't. And what it does, it does well. However, despite running smoothly throughout the entire game, and despite having nice colorful levels, the levels you play through are not visually varied enough. The game feels like 8 different levels jumbled up world by world to make them play differently. For the most part, all of the levels in the world look the same. The obvious glaring exceptions are the haunted house levels and the castle levels, but they look all the same regardless of what world you're in. I also feel the game could have used effects more to its advantage. The final world had this really cool ash in it folding around and the snow world had snowflakes, but I feel a game as simple looking as this could have benefited from some extra visuals. Perhaps some water crashing around on the beach levels or clouds moving around more actively in the sky levels would have livened the game up visually a little more. It needed something just to make the game pop. Still, those are minor artistic gripes on a technically sound package. I was impressed by the overall visuals of New Super Mario Bros. 2. The first thing that struck me about the visuals of Little Big Planet PS Vita was how similar it looked to Little Big Planet 2 on PlayStation 3. The textures on Sackboy are super detailed, the environments look great, the lighting is fantastic, and it does a really good job just like the console games with very little compromises when all is said and done. Sackboy's animations are all intact as well, and look fantastic on a portable. I also really like how Tarsio Studios wasn't scared to show off how detailed the textures are by having several close-ups on Sackboy throughout the game, something Little Big Planet on PSP, nor New Super Mario Bros. 2 do at all in their respective games. Throughout the entire story mode, the game never hiccups or stutters, which is great given that both of the console games had quite a few technical issues regarding the graphics on the single player mode. The best thing about the visuals, in my opinion, are how varied they are. Each of the five worlds looks totally distinct from one another. That said, there are a couple of minor downsides. First, the game does not seem to be running at perfect native resolution, and seems to be upscaled like many other Vita games. It seems to be running at a far higher resolution than games like Gravity Rush or Uncharted, and coupled with some nice anti-aliasing and the fact that it's on a 5-inch device, you'd have to be looking for it to notice it, like I was. Even when blown up on your monitor, it's difficult to tell, which leads me to believe it's just under the native 544p. A second minor downside is that the game does indeed run into some graphical and frame rate hiccups when playing some of the community levels in which users put too many objects on screen at one time. However, it's hard for me to take my own criticism seriously here since this is more of the fault of the user who designed the level as opposed to the game itself, which is bound by the hardware. And I'm happy that Tarsier didn't limit those levels to avoid those situations. The overall visual package of Little Big Planet has floored me in how consistent it was with the console series. I didn't feel like I was playing a gimped version of Little Big Planet at all in any regard. The winner for the graphics section is Little Big Planet. It was a given that Little Big Planet would win the technical battle between the two games, being on stronger hardware, but it wasn't the technical stuff which weighed the most in this comparison, it was the art choices. I simply liked looking at Little Big Planet more because its environments were more varied, which helped me keep interest. New Super Mario Bros. 2 is a technically great looking game in its own right, but it lost the graphical battle because of the lack of imagination of its developers, not because of the lack of horsepower in the hardware. Something I've heard in many reviews is how New Super Mario Bros. 2 recycled music from the other New Super Mario Bros. games and has very little original themes. However, since I've never put any substantial time into the other games, all of the music in this game was new to me, so that fact won't have any impact on my opinion of it. Sadly, that won't help much, since I found the music to be just plain bad. The music is uninspired, not catchy, and forgettable. As a matter of fact, as I sit here right now in this review, I can't recall a single theme in the game, which is a testament to how throwaway and forgettable the soundtrack really is. This is an absolute shame, since the soundtrack for Super Mario 3D Land was amazing, with great new themes mixed with some old school jingles here and there. The game just simply doesn't stand up, and the music gets borderline annoying after a while. 
What's worse is that the game does not have enough music to even get you through the short campaign without hearing the same theme three or four times, or even five times. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Thankfully, the sound effects, like in all Mario games, are spot on. There's just something satisfying about that jumping sound. It sounds precise, if that makes any sense. Kicking turtle shells and jumping on enemies and obtaining power-ups are all accompanied by the familiar sounds, which all sound great and help pull together the experience. Sadly, the sound doesn't make up for the lackluster music, which killed my overall opinion of the sound for New Super Mario Bros. 2 and left me very unimpressed by it. The music in Little Big Planet is both great and original. Having played the entire series, I didn't even notice a single theme from any of the other games, which is great. The music, like the visuals, are also quite varied, and each world features different tunes which fit the visual aesthetic and gameplay style of each of them. Little Big Planet also features more themes than it can fit into the main campaign mode, and jumping online into the community levels for the first time often leads you to hearing songs you've never heard before. Though, while the music is great and fitting, I do feel like it falls short of Little Big Planet 2 and a tad short of Little Big Planet on PSP in terms of memorable themes. Still, that's a minor gripe, and the music is still a high point of the game. The sound effects are also quite good, and there certainly are a lot of them, much more than in New Super Mario Bros. 2. However, some of the key sound effects do fall a little short in comparison to New Super Mario Bros. 2. The little poof sound Sackboy makes when jumping just doesn't feel as visceral as the real Mario jumping sound we all know and love. And that little path sound you make while jumping on an enemy's head in Little Big Planet doesn't sound as visceral or as good as jumping on a turtle shell or a Koopaling. Still, it gets the job done. Primarily because of the terrible music in New Super Mario Bros. 2, Little Big Planet PS Vita takes the sound category decisively. Like mentioned before in this comparison, I did not spend any substantial time with either of the new Super Mario Bros. games which came up before this one. In fact, the last 2D Mario game I played to completion before this one was Super Mario World, so it shocked me at how much at home I was when playing this game. For any 2D Mario fan, the game fits like a glove. Running, jumping, and the overall feel of the game just feels right. And this really is a testament to how amazing Nintendo was in the 90s if their games could still have more or less the same feel and mechanics and still feel not completely outdated. Unfortunately, the rest of the game is not as good as its mechanics. For $40, there simply isn't enough game here to justify the price. New Super Mario Bros. 2 took me under 5 hours to finish, and this is with doing the levels I knew I did not have to complete in order to finish the campaign, and with copious amounts of dying in some of the later levels. I've heard of more skilled players finishing the campaign for the first time in under 3 hours, which is rather ridiculous. Now, there are a couple of sequel worlds, but this would have tacked on a couple hours of gameplay to my total time at maximum and at that point you've completely exhausted all of the single player content in the main campaign. There's a coin rush mode which lets you speed through the level as fast as possible while collecting as many coins as possible, however there is no leaderboards to complete with other players on. I'm forced to walk around with my 3DS until I'm lucky enough to street past someone who has the game and has put up a better time than me and compete with him. Personally, I find this rather absurd. Nintendo did announce that they'll support New Super Mario Bros. 2 with paid DLC, but already have confirmed it's just going to be more coin rush for now, which is rather disappointing. The game has multiplayer, but consistent with the feature deprived rest of the game, it's local only. This, again, is extremely disappointing. It's a foregone conclusion that this game would have sold millions and millions of copies, so Nintendo's decision not to put a little bit of money into putting up servers so I can play online with my friends is not an easy one to forgive. A lot of Nintendo haters get into the habit of screaming rehash whenever they see a Mario game, but I feel that for the first time these complaints are justified. The game just simply doesn't add enough new things in every way imaginable. There is only one new power-up in the entire game, which is also rare and barely gets used often. All of the boss fights, the last one excluded, are the exact same boss fights we've been fighting since Mario 3, and one in the exact same way with very little variation. Heck, the entire game feels uninspired. Do a few levels, oh, a ghost house. Do a couple more, midworld castle. Do a few more, boss fight. Now onto the next world where we do the exact same thing in the exact same order with no variation. The tried and true mechanics are not enough to forgive the lack of innovation and pure laziness Nintendo is trying to sell people with this game, and it bothers me all the more after playing Super Mario 3D Land and seeing the tender love and care they put into that game, which simply isn't present here. Overall, I'm very disappointed with the gameplay of New Super Mario Bros. 2. Little Big Planet, like New Super Mario Bros. 2, fit me like a glove the moment I started running around and hopping in single player mode, but this is primarily because I played all the other four games in the last four years or so. The mechanics are exactly the same as the console games, so those of you who love the feel of the console games should feel right at home with this one. There are some people who do not enjoy the floaty jumping in the Little Big Planet series, and to those people I say that Little Big Planet PS Vita will not change your minds, since it's exactly the same as the other games. While the floaty jumping did not bother me one bit, 
as I don't look at it as objectively bad, just different, I personally found the more heavy jumping in New Super Mario Bros. 2 to be more preferable and satisfying. Regardless of how one feels about the jumping, it cannot be denied that the game, without even going into the community levels, has much more going on in it than New Super Mario Bros. 2. The game has slightly less levels than New Super Mario Bros. 2, but each level is about 4-5 to five times as long, so the overall campaign is much longer. It took me about 11 hours to finish the campaign, and this is without trying all the side levels which are unlocked by finding tokens in the main levels. Moreover, after completing the entire game, and again without going into the community levels yet, I could try to ace each level, which requires you to find every single item in that level, all of which items can be used to create things in Create Mode by the way, as well as complete the level without dying. And what's more is that every single level in the game has a leaderboard at the end of it, which ranks you against anyone else who's completed the level in terms of how many points you obtained. In short, there's a lot to keep you coming back in the single player. And once you've finished with all that, you can hop online and check out what your fellow Little Big Planet users have created. Aside from offering you a limitless supply of platforming levels to choose from, Little Big Planet's create tools also let you create non-platforming levels, or even entire games. It's basically only limited by the user's imagination, and if this is like any Little Big Planet before it, the community levels should continue to expand as new creators enter the fray when the game officially launches. The co-op in Little Big Planet is also far better than New Super Mario Bros. 2 co-op as it supports four players as opposed to two, and online as opposed to local only. Every story level also has specific size sections which can only be completed with two or more players, adding more replay value. And many of the versus arcade levels are also quite fun to play against your buddies. The online can be laggy with randoms though, so try to stick to playing with only people that you know. One of the main criticisms I had of New Super Mario Bros. 2 was that it simply didn't add enough new elements. Tarsier did a fantastic job of doing just that by adding very innovative touch control segments to the game. In many games, like Uncharted Golden Abyss, most of the touch controls seemed intrusive and broke the experience. However, in this series, which makes it a point to break the fourth wall repeatedly, pushing out blocks with the back touch to jump on, or moving around panels with the front touch, is implemented very well and seamlessly. If you couldn't already tell, I was absolutely floored by the gameplay of Little Big Planet. Like with graphics and sound, it takes gameplay decisively. It goes without saying that I feel that Little Big Planet takes this battle by a landslide due to better visuals, better overall sound, and better gameplay. However, there are two things that must be noted here. Firstly, I'm not saying that New Super Mario Bros. 2 is a bad game. Far from it. Although I don't give scores in my versus videos, New Super Mario Bros. 2 score would have been around the 7.5 range, right in line with most of the reviews it has been getting. If you enjoyed the other games, or simply just enjoy solid 2D platformers, I would definitely recommend this game, as long as you know what you're getting into in terms of length and replay value, as the platforming is top notch. Secondly, like with virtually any piece of media telling you that something is better than something else, this comparison is an opinion, my opinion. As such, there is no right or wrong answer here, and I cannot tell you which game you would personally like more. If you've played either game, or both, and agree or disagree with this comparison, please share your own opinions in the comments section below. I look forward to hearing them. Thanks for watching guys.